Welcome back to Whiskey With E. I'm Eric. Now today we are outside, so maybe the lighting is a little bit brighter. So without further ado, I am going to do craft beer review number 151. We have <clears throat> Alakazam Nightcap. Alrighties. This is a milk stout coming out of Five Barrel Brewing, which is located at 318 Kira Street, Wollongong, New South Wales. So this is technically very local for me, in the local area. Alrighties. So coming in at 6% ABV in a 375 ml can. This is the can art. You have a bottle of milk. You got some bickies. There you go. Certified independent. Now, they are family owned and operated since 2016. So they are independent. So owner and brewer, Philip O'Shea, pretty much started in 2016 as a home brewer. And then, you know, it took a few months to, you know, it took some time to get all the legal stuff. Yada yada, trying to find a place, location. They got it now. So you know what? If you want to go visit them, I believe they're open Monday, Fridays from 12 lunchtime to 6 and Saturday, Sunday from 12 to 4. Alrighties, I've never actually gone there myself. I am planning to, but let me try a beer first. So this is going to be my first five barrel brewing product. I think I am trying. So, so for everyone that doesn't know, Milk Stout always contains lactose alrighty so without further to do let's get it open here we go oh beauty glass here we go Save a little splash, here we go. Oh. Alrighties. Now, judging by the look of that, I can't see through that. That is jet black. That is a two finger creme. What are you gonna call it? Like a mocha. It's just creamy. It's an off-white tan colored, compressed tight little bubbles. Beautiful, look at this, look at this. You know what? Let's get right into it. Let's have a nose. Oh, damn. The chocolate in this. This is more chocolatey than excellent that I just had, which sounds like it was going to be more chocolatey. Yep, just chocolatey, very slight roastedy malt vibes. what you'd expect a milk stout to nose like but you know what it's all about the taste so let's get it sunlight coming in this way cheers everyone all right here we go mm. all right now that sweet lactose part that does present itself but not too much, all right? So it's got a good balance of the chocolate. You're getting that slight roasted coffee notes right at the back. So I take it there's a good deal of chocolate malt in this, like a dark roasted, roasted malt I'm sure they're using. Uh, you know what, noses beautifully. Now here in Australia, well, I picked this up for, it was $7. So $7 for something that's 6%. You know, you could say that's, that's all right value. You know what? Look at that. Still active. Oh my goodness. Let's go for another sip, guys. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Mm. Silky. Smooth carbonation, all that little bubbles from pressing on your tongue. It does go down sweet. Then you are presented with that slight chocolate. Then it's heading towards that 
that slight coffee note espresso you know what this is really nice technically I mean it's not too watery so that six percent does make it at a nice level you know obviously I'm like a proof hound I like to drink things that is higher in strength but milk stouts aren't like imperial stouts so I'm appreciating this right now it's not boozy it's got character you know what let's go for another sip hmm hmm like sometimes sometimes you have a milk stout that is too too much lactose in there you know it's too overly sweet this it's just subtle it's like the subtle backbone that's deep in its core but it doesn't take over you know the the chocolate and those slight espresso coffee dark roasted malt malt notes you know what this is beautiful and you know what it's a beautiful sunny day outside hopefully the video looks a little bit more beautiful than previous I mean, there is just not enough natural lighting in the bar room. Oh, and this device is, sh is shit. So there you go. My apologies if, uh, if I'm sounding terrible, if I'm looking terrible. I just figured I had to come still share my thoughts to you. So that being said, this is not a bad beer. And you know what? If it was night time, it would have made a... Very nice nightcap, hmm. but it's not night time, so it's it's a very pleasant day cap. That makes no sense. Hmm. The more you have this, the more that slight chocolate note kind of fades out. I think maybe it's just a typical thing. You know, eventually you, you get acclimated to it, and the uh, the the roasty malts that slight coffee note kind of presents itself more. But obviously not overly coffee. You know, you get some expressions which is just coffee beans, espresso coffee. This is just slight coffee. You know. You know what? I'm going to be repeating myself. Much love to you all. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have tried products coming out of Five Barrel Brewing, coming out of Wollongong here. Kira Street, guys. I practically grew up along that street. My mother had a Thai restaurant on Kira Street. Fun facts. There you go. Mm. Uh, kind of right across from, um, what do you call it? Hotel Illawarra. I believe there you go if it's even called hotel illawarra still anyways cheers all drink responsibly like comment subscribe oh my goodness let's uh test the chug ability and i'll uh give you my final thoughts here we go and i think we just lost light here we go all righties chug ability test let's go cheers everyone very chuggable, very smooth, very refreshing, you know, it's not overly bitter, it's not overly that espresso we note, there's just the right amount of sweet, right amount of bitter there, carbonation is just right, oh. I mean, if I was going to rate things, I don't really like to rate things, but you know what, for a milk stout category, it didn't overdo the lactose part so you know what 10 out of 10 there you go no bias here and don't worry even though I'm a local in the Wollongong area they didn't send this to me I paid for this myself so what you guys are hearing is my own personal opinions and it's unbiased because not sponsored but anyways let me know if you've tried this what do you think of nightcap 
this milk stout coming out of five barrel brewing coming in at six percent abv ingredients water malted barley hops lactose yeast i mean sometimes i like a little bit more transparency all right sometimes i like to see what kind of yeast was used or what types of malts was used or, but that's just me but thank you for letting us know what is in the can Alrighty, now if you want to find out a little bit more about them, here we go. I mean, you got, you got Facebook, you got all sorts of things, Instagram, snap them a chat. So I guess you can just type in um, five barrels, five barrels dot com dot au, find out more about them, go check out their brewery. I think I'm planning to this near future. But anyways. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. And I think we've just lost the light. Oh. <laughs> Ladies all. Oh.